Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 26th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? These readings are timeless. So let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I have for today? I just saw the star. The star is renewal. It's hope. It's unexpected help arriving. Guaranteed success. This is a blessing. A blessing is arriving after the tower falls because the star comes after the tower. So it's like the tower has fallen, but now there's somebody coming to pick you up. Queen of Wands could be dealing with, this could be for, or you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's some sort of attraction here, okay? We have... Uh, beauty i mean this is beauty it really is you see the flowers and roses are a symbol of romance and we have some roses here so romance is definitely in the air um there's confidence there's high confidence somebody is very attracted to your confidence this is determination as well and willpower. So there's a lot of determined. Somebody is very determined. Hmm. Knight of Wands reversed. So mm -hmm. I gotta get one more card. That is things happening very fast. That's usually like moving way too fast. This could be a show off. Somebody that is overly competitive, the Knight of Wands reversed. Somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. So I'm not sure if we're dealing with a fire sign. And this could be overly confident. I'm not, you know, there's high confidence here and I could see it in this person's look. She's got her head tilted like, oh, I'm, I'm so confident. And confidence is good, but, you know, when you get the Knight of Wands next to it you may have somebody has a chip on their shoulder you do have a shoulder that is kind of where the head is tilted be careful be careful of your ego yeah i know uh we got somebody here that may have a chip on their shoulder uh oh my goodness what the heck is this this knight of wands reversed is on the move somebody that is on the move Overly competitive. Hmm. The world. So the world is an ending. It's the last card in the deck. So it's stepping into a new world, stepping into a new life. This is determined to be successful. And this is success. But be careful when you get the Knight of Wands in reverse. We, there is, and you see, you see that pride. I mean, this is extreme pride. Okay, when you get a card reverse, it's either absence or extreme. And in this case, it's not the absence. And if you think it is, that's your ego. I think that we need to be careful with our ego. We need to be humble. Okay, be humble. I think that romance is in the air. Don't let it go to your head. Somebody is very attracted, but you you got to be humble. Okay. I don't know where that's coming from, but somebody needs to hear that message. <laughs> Something has been out of control. We're going to change this message because I just, I just heard this might be about health. Now this is about working on your health, working on your image, focusing on yourself needing to gain control because this is out of control finding the determination and the willpower and the discipline to remain in control and not do things without thinking so perhaps on this day somebody is going to need to find their discipline it is going to be a day of discipline just so you know and there's going to be some sort of uh, opposition put it that way Okay, there's going to be opposition. You're going to need to find your discipline to remain in control of your emotions. Okay, 
and take and make sure that you before you think before you take action. Anyhow, the world card is a new beginning. It's the end of a cycle. It's it's the end of a a phase in your life that has been very very prominent. It's it's accomplishment. It's focusing on the future. This is a new you. So somebody is determined to find success, but and I think that they're de and there's a, and then and they will be successful, but they won't be successful. They won't have any friends if they are obnoxious. There's obnoxiousness here. There is big head. Don't let it go to your head. Anyhow. Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Three of Swords reversed. So Three of Pentacles is working together, teamwork, compromise, communication, equality, working together again to restore balance, bringing balance to your life, receiving what you deserve, getting what you deserve, working with somebody that you know will put in their fair share it, working really 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 hard so it's this is about restoring balance as well finding the balance measuring things you may have to measure things be you know I don't know where that's coming from this is putting in a lot of work Working really, really, really hard. And and forgiveness may be needed to leave the past behind, to not repeat. Because this is not repeating the same mistakes. So I feel like on this day, we have somebody here that is, is going to need to... Uh, it's almost like remember not to repeat their same mistakes. And work, because Three of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles are both about working really, really hard, putting in a lot of effort to, you know, keep themselves in check. Now, the Three of Swords reverse is leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery. Focusing on the future, looking forward now, working really, really, really hard at restoring balance and finding peace and harmony, needing to be determined to, to learn new skills, to do new, to listen to advice. You know, so we got somebody here that needs to uh, be receptive, be receptive and, and not be a know-it-all because we could have a know-it-all here. You know, and your know-it-all goes to your head. So I do feel like somebody has is, is letting their, their ego go to their head. And you need to be humble. It is, it is going to be a, a day. A day is coming up of, of, of being very, very determined to do whatever it takes to bring success. So it is, there is going to be success. Maybe in about three weeks. You'll see results in three weeks. Whatever that means, I don't know. But this is on the path to recovery. Healing. Healing. Okay? So there's healing here. And I think it has to do with health. Getting healthy. Somebody, somebody has been out of control. They haven't been able to control. But now they're... they're Getting back on track, per se. So I think that's what we have here. It's about getting back on track. Seven of Cups. Emperor reversed. Definitely out of control. Lack of discipline. Things have been out of control, unorganized, disorganized, unstructured. I 
I think that there's other options and somebody has been making poor choices. They've been making poor choices and it's affected their health. But they're, they're finding their determination to make better choices because this is better choices. And this may have to do with drinking even. even. I don't know. But this is getting your life back on track. Sixes is the journey to balance and harmony. But it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of effort and determination. But even though you may be being successful, don't be pompous. Um, the Emperor Reversed is somebody that is doesn't want responsibility, is entitled, that is not very experienced, that um, isn't really interested. They're not in you. Maybe somebody could be dealing with an individual that isn't interested in helping. This person is mean. They say mean things. They belittle them. The world card is the end. Okay, that's the end of a chapter. Something, something that has been out of control. Definitely out of control. There could also be a change of residence here. There could be a separation from a father figure or um, somebody that is... This could even be a business owner, okay? This could be a business owner. This could be a husband. Somebody that is uh, very mean-spirited, controlling, a very... It's, I would just want to say belittling. Somebody may be finding their strength to... Uh, Choose another option. I do see teamwork. I see working as a team, working together with somebody. I also feel like there's going to be a change, and it may be a change in residence because you just can't, you can't, this person is holding you down in some way. They're they're not helping your recovery. There, this is like a need to recover and wanting to recover, but you you may be dealing with a person that is hindering your recovery. This person doesn't want to help. They they put you down and they're they're hindering your effort. Somebody may be looking for a way out. They're looking for other options. But that Knight of Wands reverse, that is totally reckless behavior. That's pushing. Push, 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 push. You could be dealing with a person that is pushing your buttons or you're pushing theirs. But that cycle is about to come to an end and somebody is going to be on the path to recovery. Somebody's hard work is going to pay off. Because this is something, this is hard work paying off. Prayers being answered even. You notice she's praying. So somebody's prayers are going to be answered. Okay, they are. And somebody's going to be heading, you know, towards recovery with the Three of Swords reversed. This is leaving the past behind. It's healing. It's releasing pain. Somebody's been in a painful situation and they're and they're and they're going to be leaving it. Put it that way. Somebody's going to be leaving a painful situation. And it could even have to do with a job because this is, could be a boss and this is work. But it could be somebody that you live with. It could be a father figure or even a mother that acts as a father. Okay, this is this is uh, choosing another option. Are reversed okay I saw it upright but this is reversed now this is losing hope losing hope lack of healing no faith depression illness arrogance 
There is arrogance here. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? So something is happening where you may be asking, why is this happening? It's happening because somebody's been refusing to get help or refusing to accept any advice, refusing to work with other people, and they need to, and they're pompous. We got, and I do feel that. I feel pompousness. So I do feel as though we, we have an individual that is needing balance with the Six of Pentacles. They deserve peace and harmony, but it's almost like they've let their, and you notice that line is, they've let their pride get in the way of success. But now there's some sort of change. And I keep saying there's a change because I see two pentacles here. Because I covered up the other pentacle. Two pentacles is change. We, it is. So we got a change that is coming. But I think it's unexpected. This, this, is, this is, why is this happening? This is a test of faith. Why, 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 why? So something is going to happen where you may ask why. Um... It's happening because of reckless behavior. Okay, this this is out of control. Somebody's habits have gotten out of control. Now something is happening. There's poor health here. The star card is poor health. This is feeling depleted. Somebody's energy has been depleted. This could be a decision maker as well. Somebody could be making a decision to... You know, take somebody somewhere. The Six of Pentacles is about give and take. Anyhow, the star card reversed is illness of some sort, depression, despair, a loss of will again. Somebody has, has, has lost their willpower, but now they're finding it. They're going to find it. They're going to find it. And they're going to be working with, a new, with new people. I think it's working together with new people. New team, perhaps, or learning new skills to cope with whatever this is. I got one that fell out. I don't know what it is. Four of Wands. Now, this is about happiness. Commitment. Celebrating. Something about October. You will be celebrating in October. You will reach, it's like you'll reach the, you know, the comfort that you've been seeking by October if you remain committed, if you commit to the plan. End of October. Third week. You'll be celebrating by third week in October. But there's a lack of, this is a test of faith, it's a test of willpower, it's a test of discipline. Somebody's willpower is being tested right now. They've been overindulging, they've been overdoing it, they've been doing things without thinking. And now it's time to put in effort and regain control. So I think that's what's happening is somebody gets a new mindset. And they find the determination and the willpower to take back control of whatever it is that they lost control of. It's some sort of addiction, I believe. I do. I think it's some sort of addiction because of this Queen of Cups reverse and this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is determined in the upright. She's determined. She has a lot of willpower. She has a lot of strength. But in the reverse, she loses the ambition. She has no drive. She gets lazy. So I feel like we have an individual that is, that is uh, deciding to get down to business after things have gotten out of control. They have definitely gotten out of control. And I feel like this person may be dealing with another individual who has held them down. You know, this person has belittled them. And made them feel confused. Confused. 
anyway we have the end of us this is accomplishment somebody is going to accomplish success by putting in effort and they are going to reap some sort of reward for their effort and they're going to see the results by the third week of October I want to say October 21st and I don't know why could be the 17th anyhow be careful not to get a big head and if somebody has some advice for you listen be open make sure that you are making the right choices that are going to benefit your health instead of deplete you because I see poor health here and depletion of energy this is about regaining healthy habits it's about health I know that it is and putting in a lot of hard work to accomplish success this is a whole new you this is stepping into a new life that will make you very very happy if you can find the determination to take back control of whatever it is you've lost control of which happens to be some sort of addiction that has affected your health so good luck welcome to Virgo season